Buongiorno, dunque l'applauso interminabile che le abbiamo tributato dimostra che lei gode anche qui di un'ammirazione incontrastata. Lei ha il record delle nomination agli Oscar, non credo che esista una critica negativa su di lei. Vorrei sapere se quindi a lei ha mai sofferto di quello che in Italia chiamiamo il complesso della prima della classe cioè il dovere di dover essere sempre Meryl Streep, di non poter mai dimostrare di essere un po' meno brava. Grazie. No, I'm the mother of four children. I never feel the best at anything. My children are very astute at picking out what's wrong with what I, how I dress, how I talk, everything I say, if I sing, if I don't sing, if I tell a joke, oh, it's terrible, you know. My, <laughs> I don't, I, I think that uh, having a family is a very humbling experience. Uh, beyond that, I only think about, you know, my so-called stature in, in the business when I come on press junkets and <laughs> people ask me questions like that. But generally in my work, I don't think about um, my whatever, my emeritus kind of status or something. Sometimes with young actors, when I first start working, uh, they're nervous and I can feel it. But then I forget my lines, which I do a lot. And they get very, they begin very relaxed and they think, oh, she's not so great. So it's, uh, you know, it's acting is, um, acting is just a very simple interaction between people, an attempt to make an honest connection. And, and so among actors, I don't feel that, that, um, they hold me in some special place one, if we're working together. You know, I think it's something that's outside of me. Abbiamo una domanda qui, vi prego sempre di presentarvi, poi abbiamo un'altra domanda lì, poi andiamo, torniamo qui con il microfono. Buongiorno, eh, mamma mia è un film... Si presenta per favore. Sì, sì, Giovanni Zambino, grazie. Eh, mamma mia è un film molto allegro, però è anche un film sul, sul rimpianto, sulle occasioni mancate. Come guarda alla sua carriera? Cioè, quale sentimento prevale? C'è qualche film che rifarebbe in modo diverso o lo rifarebbe? E quale di questi tre bei uomini vorrebbe come madre per suo figlio? Grazie. Padre, padre, madre. Confusione di ruoli, non c'è problema. Il gioco del femminismo questo. <ride> In my career, I haven't really, I don't really look back and have uh, regrets. I'm always thinking about the next project, and I've been able to keep very busy and lots of, lots of new work, which is sort of amazing, uh, and I'm very grateful for, for all of that. But I don't really look back at the, the long caboose of the train behind me, you know? Sometimes, last night I was in San Sebastian in a, a film festival, and they, show, they showed a series of clips of my films, and it's amazing because I forgot that I was in some of these films, and uh, certainly I forgot what happened in them, so. Um, All I think about is it's like opening a family album and I see a location and I think of where we lived, I think of who was a baby on the set with me, who was with me, you know, where we ate lunch. <laughs> I have a, a different way of looking at my career than, than just the films or, or what prizes they won or how much money they made. It's a, it's a very, you know, it's so personal. Prego, abbiamo una domanda lì e poi ci spostiamo di nuovo. Sì, io volevo scendere nel particolare. Sì, sono Tiziana Potazzo della Gazzetta dello Sport. E volevo sapere, scendere nei particolari per quello che riguarda la sua appunto vitalità, no? E, sì, co come si tiene in forma? Abbiamo letto che sono state 
tre settimane a Londra per organizzare, per preparare le coreografie, però dietro ci deve essere, come dire, un grosso lavoro, cosa fa? Jogging con le figlie? Eh, co come, come fa, insomma, come si tiene in forma? Ah, uh, I'm not so fit. <laughs> I'm very lazy and I'm not I'm not so not so fit. It's amazing what terror will enable you to do. <laughs> how high you can jump when you're terrified. Um, and uh, how much fun, you know. You see people who in their day-to-day -day life they look one way and then you see them at a club and they're dancing. Another thing break music breaks out a different kind of uh, energy and joy and I'm not very um, consistently athletic so if I have a job then I make myself get up and do something if I don't I sit and Beatrice <laughs> Bruccioli, prego. Sì, eh, volevo farle due domande. Lei era venuta anni fa qui a Roma, sono qua, uh, qua. Oh, qua. Oh. <ride> e mi ricordo che eh, si lamentò che dopo i 40 anni a Hollywood non ci sono più ruoli per le donne dopo i 50 però mi sembra che va molto meglio e questa è la prima domanda e l'altra si parla di un Oscar per lei ma non per questo ruolo ma per il ruolo che interpreta nel film Il Dubbio Secondo lei perché? Perché comunque i ruoli drammatici godono sempre di una maggiore considerazione? Grazie. Um, yes, well, it's sort of what I was saying before about the, the, the world evolving, and certainly the, the film world is evolving. There are many, many more women who are in positions to uh, financially green light films to make them happen, to pay for them. And I've just, and there are more women directors and there are more women writers. There are fewer, you know, the, the only thing that, where it's really fallen down is in, in uh, journalism, I think. There are fewer and fewer women critics at least in the United States. I don't know how it is here, and I, but I know it's the same in England. It's, the same in it's all this, you know, it's all one class of <laughs> human being. <laughs> and not so many women. But there are lots of women journalists who are working, but they don't, they're not writing critically about film. And even if they are, they're not recognized as much. So. That's a real problem. Oh, sorry, but, but um, to talk about uh, Doubt was, is a film where I play, uh, it's from a Pulitzer Prize winning play in the United States uh, by John Patrick Shanley. And it's about the, the sort of battle between a mother superior, I play a mother superior in a uh, Sisters of Charity, which is a teaching order of nuns in the United States, and um, a priest who is her superior, uh, who is Philip Seymour Hoffman, and we, we come at loggerheads, we, we have a battle of wills. And it's a very, and Amy Adams plays a, a young nun in it, and um, it's a very strong drama. We. Both of us vie for her uh, uh, approbation. So it's a very interesting thing, and I think it's gotten a lot of press because it's based on a, a play that won a prize. Just like Mamma Mia had an initial audience because it was based on a musical that had reached many, many people already. Ricordo che Doubt uscirà tra dicembre e febbraio in Italia. Prego, Maria Pia Fusco. Uh, intanto grazie di esistere. Poi, a proposito di femminismo, <ride> a proposito di femminismo, cosa pensa?